today our topic is Ron's Pier. To define Ron's Pier, we first define when a set of functions is said to be linearly dependent or linearly independent. Suppose y1, y2, yn be n functions of single variable x. The set of functions y1, y2, yn is said to be linearly dependent if there exists scalar c1, c2, cn. Scalar means real number, not all zero not all zero such that c1 y1 plus c2 y2 plus up to cn yn is equal to zero zero function if the set of functions is not linearly dependent then it is called linearly independent that is if y1 y2 yn are linearly independent then this implies Always c1 equal to c2 equal to up to c n is equal to 0. A equation that only satisfy you for the to the all the coefficients c1 c2 c n 0 by the set of functions y1 y2 yn. A will look at that linearly independent for you. I will not define for the wrong square. Suppose given two functions y1, y2 of single variable x then Ronskian of y1, y2 is defined by a second order determinant whose first row is y1, y2 and second row is their derivative similarly Ronskian of three functions y1, y2, y3 is a determinant of third order whose first row is y1, y2, y3, second row is their derivative, first order derivative, and third row is their second order derivative. Similarly, Ronskian of n functions y1, y2, yn. It's defined by this first row is this, second row is this, and in it row is there n minus 1 derivative. We now prove an important result. Related to Ronskian. Let y1, y2 be two solutions of a of the second order homogeneous. Linear differential equation a0 d2y dx2 plus a1 dy dx plus a2 y is equal to 0. Then Ronskian of y1 y2 is equal to c into e to the power minus integral a1 by a0 dx. It doesn't matter to me for one cold ball. Now, Ronskian of y1, y2, if we denote by w, then w is equal to y1, y2, first row, y1 dash, y2 dash, this is equal to y1, y2 dash minus y2, y1 dash. So, it's derivative dw dx is equal to I mean the determinant of the derivative of the derivative of the derivative of the derivative of the 
করে অথবা পালা পালা ইনজুরি বেটিং করতে পারে ইফ উই ডিফারেন্ট শেপস টু গেট ফিট টু নো আই উইল প্রো দেন গেট দিস now the first determinant value of the first determinant is this zero so this is is equal to y1 y2 double dash minus y2 y1 double dash now given y1 y2 are two solution of this differential equation so a0 y1 double dash plus a1 y1 dash plus a2 y1 equal to zero and a0 y2 double dash plus a1 y2 double dash dash plus a2 y2 z equal to zero और तो जो डेटा टाइप मॉन करते हैं उसे तो अच्छे डेटा टाइप मॉन के लिए वन ए जीरो आ चुके सो वी हैव टू एलिमिनेट ए टू फ्रॉम दिस टू इक्वेशन टू एलिमिनेट ए टू वी मल्टीप्लाई दी फर्स्ट इक्वेशन बाय वाई टू एंड सेकंड इक्वेशन बाय वाई वन एंड सब्टैक्टिंग वी गेट ए जीरो इनटू वाई टू वा� a1 y2 y1 dash minus y1 y2 dash z equal to zero. ये पार्ट तो अच्छे, ये खान के लिए तो अच्छे इस पार्ट तो अच्छे minus dw dx, so minus a0 dw dx. ये पार्ट तो अच्छा है, minus w minus a1 w z equal to zero. और ये तो एक बाबू dw by w is equal to minus a1 by a0 dx. Now integrating, we get if we integrate, then we get log of w is equal to log c uh, c the integrate constant minus integral a1 by a0 dx. This is equal to log of c to the power minus so we get w sum of c into e to the power minus integral a1 by a0 dx so I see that constant now we can take on the conclude with the body if c not equal to 0 w of y1 y2 never 0 because exponential function is always positive so C, if C not equal to 0, then Ronskian's never 0. Also, if C equal to 0, Ronskian is always 0. So, I'm going to either, you can take down the result of either W of Y1, Y2 equal to 0, or W of Y1, Y2 never 0. Never zero. That is never zero. Means for all x, this is not equal to zero, and for every x, you can define shear equation that defines for us as zero zero. If I take up the both the body, the y one y two, if you do define shear equation, the solution for linearly dependent of each and all the grounds can be called zero. अथवा y1 y2 को चलिए यार इंडिपेंडेंट हमें तो दी लोग इसके अंदर नॉट इक्वल दी चीज़ आती तो मतलब y1 y2 को तो दी इलाफ़म सेकेंड और डार लिनियर मोडिनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन में सॉल्यूशन है तो अब इसे कहाँ क्योंकि y1 y2 y2 ये दो सॉल्यूशन लिनियर इंडिपेंडेंट हमें कि इंडिपेंडेंट हमें विषय तो रहता है जो दी y1 y2 रखूं डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन में सॉल्यूशन ना हो तब उधर बोला जाएगी ना अब ला एक एग्जांपल भी रखा हो जो दो तो सॉली दो तो फंक्शन y1 y2 जादे रोंस के अंडा जीरो किंतु y1 y2 चे लिनियरली इंडिपेंडेंट लिनियरली इंडिपेंडेंट Example of two functions, we give example of two functions, y1, y2, such that they are on scale is equal to 0, but they are 
Really are the independent. Suppose y1 is equal to x cubed and y2 is equal to x square mod x. x square mod x. x belongs to r. So y2 can x cubed x greater than equal to 0 minus x cubed x less than 0. And if y1 dash or 3x square and y2 dash is equal to 3x square. So x greater than 0 to no 3x square. x equal to 0 to a function that is differentiable power. Among derivative of 0. So 3x square for x greater than equal to 0 minus 3x square. x less than 0. So for x greater than equal to 0. Ronsky and W of y1, y2 is equal to it have x cube, this is also x cube, 3x square, 3x square. This is equal to 0. For x less than 0, Ronsky and is equal to x cube, this is minus x cube, 3x square, minus 3x square. This is also equal to 0. We now check whether y1 or y2 are linearly independent or not. Suppose c1 y1 plus c2 y2 equal to 0. If this implies c1 equal to c2 equal to 0, then y1 and y2 are linearly independent. But if we get non zero solution, of c1 c2 in, from this equation, then we can say y1 y2 are linearly dependent. Now this implies c1 x cube plus c2 mod x square mod x equal to 0. When x greater than 0 from this equation, we get c1 x cube plus c2 x cube is equal to 0. This implies c1 plus c2 equal to 0. Cancel this in x cube since x greater than 0. When x less than 0, c1 x cube minus c2 x cube equal to 0. Cancel this in x cube. 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 Cancel C1 plus C2 equal to 0 and C1 minus C2 equal to 0. If you add these two equations, then it gets 2C1 equal to 0. That implies C1 equal to 0. And putting the value of C1 in any one of them, in any one of these equations, then we get C2 equal to 0. That is, this implies C1 equal to 0 as well as C2 equal to 0. So, these two functions y1 or y2 are nearly independent, though they are Ronskian equal to 0.